Hello, I am pleased to tell you about PHP uh, programming and my SQL. Uh, PHP stands for Personal Hypertext Preprocessor. It is an interpreted programming language uh, which is used to um, to interconnect uh, web pages to uh, databases. So you can use uh, PHP programming to connect to your web page, uh, design it uh, using HTML, um, PHP, JavaScript, and CSS uh, to a database, which is created using um, a relational database management system. For this uh, video, um, I will be using HTML, PHP, CSS, and uh, some JavaScript. Uh, connected to um, a database which is created using my SQL. So PHP uh, is a programming language which is um, rich um, in terms of functions. It has got a lot of functions which are used um, to make things easy and simple. First of all, you need to know that you have to install EasyPHP to be able to use this. So EasyPHP is uh, a simple program which is installed um, to make your computer uh, a local server. So when EasyPHP is installed, uh, you are installing a stack of programs like Apache, uh, which is uh, a web server like my SQL, which is the server for uh, the relational database management system, and also P, which stands for PHP server. So you are uh, installing three things at a go when you install EasyPHP Apache as a server, my SQL as uh, a database server, and PHP as a PHP server. So EasyPHP is shown here in the notification area. It is represented by E with a red dot, which is blinking. So when EasyPHP is working, the red dot is blinking. If it has stopped, you will have to click on it. Uh, to right click on it, then you choose uh, Start. For instance, I stop it. The red button has stopped so when i again right click i click on start to make it start so when easy php uh, is working it means the server is on to be able um, to create a php web page we have to open uh, the local disk c of our computer we locate uh, program files folder we locate easy php then within EasyPHP, we have www folder. This is where the pages of PHP that we will be creating will be stored. This is acting as a server for this machine, this location. So within this folder, we are going to create uh, another folder in which uh, our web pages will be going in. So this new folder, let's call it sample. So the folder called the sample, this is where we will be uh, saving uh, our web page created using PHP. So our first web page, we are going to save it as sample folder. And we call it insert.php. So you can immediately see where it is uh, located in the C. Program files, easy PHP, www, sample folder, then the page is called insert.php. So we write HTML. So these HTML formulas are uh, automatically added. The page we call it use of insert. Within the body, we are going to write um, sample web page. 
that uses insert. This will be like a big title. Now, let's say we are to push it down using P. This is the first name. To be able to enter the first name, we use input type, which is text. Name, we call it F name. We can even add ID property. Uh, we call it F name again. So we go to the next line. Huh? For the next line, we write family name. Again, input type is a text. Error name ID, we call it error name again. We again push it to the next line. At this level, we are going to add a button, which is going to enable us to save. So it is a submit. Name is called save. We add another property which is called value, like this, self. So to be able to open um, a PHP page we are uh, creating, as you see, it is already inserted. So we go to our web browser, then we write localhost. Slash, localhost slash. So we are calling the server. As you can see, among the folders uh, stored on Apache server, uh, we have the one called sample. So when you click on sample, you will see insert a uh, web page. When you click on it, we should get this sample web page that uses insert. So even the title of the page is called use of insert. So this is where we will be writing and when you click on save of course we have not yet created the database and we have not yet uh, added the php codes so far we have only used html tags after designing the the interface we are now going to create uh, a simple database and a table you remember the address of accessing the MySQL server is to write the localhost slash MySQL slash. So we create a new database that we are going to call KGL or Kigari create. So within the Kigari database, we are going to, to create a table, which we, we call students, fields, the number of columns, we make it two, then go. This is the first name, uh, the type of the first name is going to remain very character. The number of characters, 23. Uh, L name, this is the last name or the family name. We can make it 35, then we save to create the table. So Kigari database is created and students table is created. Now, we are going to connect this page with this table such that when we write something here and we click on save immediately it will go in uh, students table how do we do it we have to add php codes so where down here so php codes are written in between these uh, symbols so less than question mark php question mark greater than between here in between 
this is where we will be writing PHP codes. So to be able to use PHP, we have to first uh, create a variable. So variables in PHP start with dollar sign. So we call it a local server, which is having this address. Another variable, which is the database. As you remember, we have called our database Kigari. We continue by creating a user variable. So a user is called root. Another variable is password, which is empty for our case. So the server is equal to this value database is called the Kigari user root and the password is empty. So to be able to use PHP to connect um, a web page to a database, we have to use five steps. The first step is to connect to the server. We declare another variable which is called the con, then my SQL connect. This function is going to have three variables. The first is dollar server. The second is dollar user. The third is dollar PW. So this is the function to connect to the server. So in the case the server is not found, you can even add the message which is to be displayed. You write, for instance, server is not found. Like this, then dot my SQL error. This is the function which manages errors in PHP. This is the function which manages errors in PHP. So we are done with the first step. The second step is now to select the database. We use this function, my SQL select database. So the database variable is going to be assigned and also the connection variable is going to be assigned. Again, you can leave it as this, or in the case you want to display a message when the database is not found, you can again use or die. Uh, database is not found. Like this. Then dot my SQL error like this. So we are done with the second step. Now, the third step is to give the query to the database. We again declare another variable, which we call query. Then uh, quotation marks. The command is insert into the name table, which is students. Then values. The values here, we are entering, they are here. For the first name, we have declared or we have given the name property of F name. For the family name, it is L name. These are the ones that we are using, such that what is written in the box next to first name will be going to the first column of the table. Like this, then L name. Of course, we have to precede them with the Dora to make them uh, 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 variables. Dora sign should be there. So this is the third step. Now the next step, step number four, is to get the answer of the query. We use the function My SQL DB query. This one 
gets two va uh, variables. The first one is database. The next one is query. So the last step, which is step number five, is to close the connection. We use the function um, my SQL close. So you can leave it as my SQL close without any argument, or you provide it with this connection variable, which has got uh, the connection information. So we are almost done. Step number one, two, three, four, and five. So at this level, uh, we are almost done, but we are to add uh, one more line or two lines. So we go to body where body is starting. We write form like this. So within the form, we write action equal HTTP. We write the address of the server. Then uh, you remember the folder that we created within the server. The folder we called it sample. Then sample and the, the name of the page, which is insert.php. Methods. This is another property which is used with the form. Method is going to be post. So method is the way these two variables are sent to the database. So it can be post or get. So we first use post. So this form which is closing, we are cutting it and we move, we put it down above body closing. So this form is really useful. It enables the page to take the variables and send them to the database. We go to our page, uh, we refresh it, then we write then save. We go to the database, we refresh it. The database called Kigari, it has got uh, a table called students. So when you click on browse, let us add the second person. Let me add another person. Save. Again, I refresh. So the second person is now added. We can use JavaScript. So we go to head here. We go to head, then uh, we write the script, text JavaScript. We are declaring a function which is called form, form check. This is the function we are creating, which is called the form check. We are going to use if exclamation mark. As you remember, when you created uh, the input boxes for the first name and the family name, we have added uh, ID properties. So we are going to copy the value for ID dot value arrow please enter family name
then return first. So this is the first if we are adding if exclamation mark f name dot value are at please enter family name so in case someone wants to click on save uh, while the first name is not yet entered so we are going to do the same for error name the id for error name is this one family name dot value Arat enter sorry this is not family name it is the first name huh? then enter family name first then return first Again, we have to add these braces like this. So now script type and so on form check. To be able to enable the page to run this function called the form check, we are going to add uh, an additional property on line 25 um, on submit attribute is added on submit immediately run form check function on submit form check so we save we go back to our page continue uh, we write um, Magisha. We leave the first name empty. Then we click on save. Immediately, they tell us please enter first name because first name is empty. So we write uh, Robert. We leave the family name empty. We click on save. Immediately, they tell us please enter family name first. So we have uh, added some JavaScript uh, to check the form. Now let us add some CSS. Still uh, under head, uh, we write style, so text uh, CSS uh, between style opening and style closing. We define a selector called the body. The property is called the margin. Uh, 20 pixels, 35 pixels, 50 pixels, 50 pixels. So these are the top margin, right margin, bottom margin, and the left margin. Line height, we can also define it under body selector. The second selector is called P. Uh, color, let us make it black. Um, font family, the value is going to be Ario font width is going to be bold like this. So these are the CSS selectors. The first selector, which is called the body, has got a property called the margin, and these are its values. Line height, it has got 1.5 value, and so on.
so p selector is going to be applied here we can even apply another p here then p we close it at this level we refresh we go back to our page we again refresh we will see that uh, our css styles uh, have worked so the text is now bold and it is using the font family of ario and so on and so forth let's go to our editor and we press ctrl n to have a new then within the insert we press ctrl a ctrl c to copy then we paste we save it as select.php select.php so we are going to see how to select huh? can delete one of the if he used we leave only the if or the family uh, the first name I mean also for form action instead of being insert.php we edit it as select.php uh, for the family name and its text box we delete them we only leave the first name and its text box and the, the button so we go back to the server we click on the folder called sample so within the sample we should get select.php that we have created so we should also change uh, this name of the button and the uh, instead of being users of insert we choose uh, we make it users of select users select eh? select like this also the button is not called save it is called to select the value is also going to change as select like this when we go back and we refresh so when we refresh so the button name should change into selector so we go back to we go down it so we will change this uh, line for to one uh, the query we are going to change it from insert into we make it select or from students where where this f name is equal to the column called f name is equal to edit the code as select all from students where uh, the column called the f name is equal to uh, dora f name this dora f name is representing the name of the variable which uh, represents the text box in which the first name is going to be entered so after adding this uh, line for to one select all from students where f name is equal to dollar f name this is the query so we go to the next line 42 we don't change anything at this level we are going to use wire
we create a variable which we call we create a variable which we call kgl equal to a function called my sql fetch object uh, the arguments we are going to put as a result is this one the result of the query dollar answer so at this level again we create another variable that we are going to call name equal to this variable which is storing um, the answer of my SQL fetch object uh, pointer to the first column the first column is called f name so we write f name like this so this object is pointing to the column called f name then it will take its value and put it in the variable called uh, dollar name then dollar fam equal to again kgl pointer the second variable or second column is called l name again we take the name of the object uh, pointer to l name like this so above while we are going to print the title using the table tr td we write the first name so this is the first cell of the first row we close td again td We write family name, we cross TD, we cross TR. So this will be uh, like the title of what we are selecting. Now at this level, uh, we again write the print. We again write the TR, the second row. The first um, table data is going to contain the first name, the first result, TD, another TD, which will contain the family name. We cross the TR. Uh, if the results um, are three, so it will loop three times. If the values are 10 in total, of course, if the results are 10 in total, it will loop uh, 10 times and so on and so forth. So this line is single, but when the results are more than one, the loop will continue until the last result. So once done, we write print, then we cross table. Like this. So let us uh, run this code and check what it gives. Um, of course, the title is use of select, not use of insert. Use of select like this. We write uh, one person called Bervin. Bervin, we select. Immediately, Bervin Goga is coming in. What if we write Lana? 
click immediately the person called Lana Isheja she is coming in so what if we don't write something then we click on select they are telling us please enter first name so what if we write someone who is not part of the table we click on select there is nothing displayed why because uh, we need to change something let's say um so what if um what if we want to add some codes such that in the case the person is not there that we are looking for the message will be displayed eh, on the screen saying uh you are such key term uh could not be found so we are going to add uh, a line after dora answer uh, we write count echo my SQL and let's call num rows. We give it this argument, the answer as argument. So this is the function which is going to count how many results we are having. Are we having zero result? Are we having uh, one, two, or ten results, and so on? So if uh, this variable called the dollar count is equal to zero, meaning no result is found, so we use JavaScript to display the message script arat no result is found then we close the script Cross script. Let us try it. Huh? We write the key, key again. We click on select. They are telling us no result is found because the key, key is not uh, in the database. Of course, after key, key we will have to enter or to add the else. Uh, this LC is the one which will be executed in the case uh, the value of dollar count is not equal to zero. So LC, it will continue until uh, until it is level. can even put it uh, below print which is closing the table like this so uh, we write uh, umurisa select no result is found we write bervan select so the result is found so this is it. So we are going to also use update. We create a new, we copy uh, again the code of insert.php. Uh, we paste them in this untitled page um, 
we save it in sample folder as update.php save so when we started to edit this code we should start with the title so it is use of update The JavaScript the code we don't change anything. Uh, sample web page that uses update like this. The button is going to be called update, and it should be update like this in the capital, the name of the button. So what is going to change is only this line 48 so we are going to change the query as update students uh, set set we are going to set this column name called f name set f name equal to Dora F name where where this is the condition where uh, sorry we are going to set uh, hello name equal to hello name Dora where uh, F name is equal to Dora F name like this so we are to change the last name or the family name of someone who is called uh, the first name so this is the meaning of this code so let us try to run it we are going to update uh, the last name of someone who is called uh, Sheja First of all, we go to our server, we open our folder called sample, mm. we choose update.php. Uh, the person is called Lana. The family name we are going to call it Mujisha. After updating line 48, we have to change also the form action. Uh, we make it update.php so we go to our server we click on sample folder we click on update uh, we are going to update uh, a person called Lana we call her Umurisa update when we go back to our database browse so Lana, she is now called Umorisa. Let us also uh, change the name of uh, Ngoga uh, from Berve. So Berve, Berve, then uh, we call him uh, Shema Update. So when we refresh again, we should get uh, Berve called Shema. So we immediately uh, co uh, press Ctrl A, uh, then Ctrl C to select or then to copy, Ctrl N to create a new, Ctrl V uh, to paste. Uh, immediately we are going to see how to use delete. Huh? Delete. Delete. So for delete, uh, we remove one of the if. Also, we also update this as sample web page that uses delete. Um, one of the text boxes and its label is also deleted. 
uh, to remain with only the first name we are going to delete uh, by basing on the first name of the people in the table so the button also is going to be called the delete instead of update delete like this then uh, uh, we are going to save uh, we have not yet saved so we go we save it as delete.php delete.php by saving as delete.php this line of form action we are going also to update the name of the page as delete.php delete.php uh, the line 42 mm -hmm. the third step is going also to be updated so the query this time is a delete from students where delete from students where f name is equal to dollar f name so we go back to our server we click on sample folder uh, we choose delete.php we are going to delete someone called Bervin uh, sorry uh, we write Bervin click on delete uh, when we refresh Bervin is now gone eh? so this is it how you can use insert um, select um, update and delete commands so for select we can also make it uh, a bit uh, new by changing this my sql fetch uh, object function that we used so we can change uh, uh, object into array so my sql fetch array so at this level it is going to be dollar kgl then square brackets and double quotes again square bracket double quote double quote square brackets so when it is my sql fetch array we only make this change this one that we have made instead of using the pointer we are now using the square brackets when we again use select we write lana select immediately lana umorisa she's there when we look for berva because berva is uh, deleted select so no result is found so this is it thank you bye